Hi, Spencer Campbell here, back with another tutorial. Um, so this tutorial is how to use Google Drive and your Android phone to scan documents straight to PDF or to scan them straight to email. Very simple, very easy to do. Um, you don't need a third-party app from the App Store or anything like this. You can also do this on the iPhone. Um, I currently have an Android, um, so we'll do an iPhone video a little bit later. But um, what you wanna do is you wanna open up Drive. So you're gonna click on Drive. And right here, obviously you can see my phone, you're gonna hit this big plus sign down in the bottom right hand corner and you'll see scan right there. And so in memory of John Stockton's birthday, who is uh, I believe 59 today, if you're a Utah Jazz fan, John Stockton, Hall of Famer, former Utah Jazz player. I'm just gonna take a little bit of his autobiography called Assisted. Take that picture there. And you'll see that it's a picture and I've got my thumb on the bottom. You can see it's a little bit bent at the top. We're going to click on OK. And there we have the scan. And what you can actually do is you can rename this scan. So up in the top right hand corner, we're going to rename it. And assisted, whoops, we need to pull everything else out. Excuse me. Assisted scan for YouTube video. We're going to click OK and then we're gonna save it. It's gonna ask us where we wanna save it in our drive. Now I'm just gonna save it in a random folder and I'll go back and delete it after this video, but uh, you can actually create a new folder if you want. So we could um, create a new folder there and just put uh, photo scans, create, and then we're gonna select that folder. We're gonna save that. And then in that photo scans folder, uh, we have the photo scan. So the other really cool thing that we can do with that, um, with uh, the other Google um, tool called Keep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here. We'll go back to our Google folder and we're gonna use a thing called Keep. And um, we're gonna add a new Keep, right? Or we're gonna add a new photo. We're gonna choose the image that we just took, pull that one. And when we click on the image, what you'll see is we can actually mark this, this tool up, up here in the top right, or there's three buttons up there. And this is phenomenal. So imagine that you're a teacher and you have an old worksheet or you have a piece of text that you wanna to get to students without copying it. Uh, what you'll do is up in the top right hand corner, you'll select those three little dots. I'm gonna do that again. Top right corner, three little dots. We're gonna grab that image text. And what you'll see is it has turned that page all the way. It doesn't get the first line, but that's because the photo wasn't very good, but it's gonna go down and grab all of that text. even down to the page number at the bottom. You can see the 168 there, there's a 168. Now the formatting isn't perfect, obviously, right? You could go back in and clean that up in a Word document or something like that. But if you're a language arts teacher, a history teacher, you wanted to grab some text so that kids can and to do some things with, uh, you could send that to them. So again, if you found this valuable, um, if this added value made things easier in your life, if you have an Android phone and you have third party apps that you've paid for, you're always looking for a scanner, uh, you can actually create documents, scan them, upload them to Drive, share them with the students from your phone. Again, thank you for watching. Go ahead and click subscribe wherever it's at. Hit that little bell. Anytime I have a new video that I upload, you'll get notified first when all the new tools and tricks come out. Uh, we appreciate you following along.